Hello, my name is Trollmaker. The game background is Team Fortress 2, and it's some sort of uh, melee mode. That's interesting. Uh, so today I'm going to talk about what I think to be kind of a scam. And so, uh, Funcom, who are making The Secret World, basically came out and said today that if you... So there's two parts to this. One is, if you pre-order the game, you get open beta access. And the second part of the scam is... Um, you can now get lifetime subscriptions. So maybe I'll deal with, uh, you know, the kind of bullshit of open beta and uh, and pre-orders, because honestly, uh, we're, people are going to get open beta regardless of whether they pre-order or not. But uh, about the lifetime subscription, uh, it's, it's basically a scam. So when you see a lifetime subscription, the first thing you should be uh, wary against is um, being defrauded. And gaming companies do it in such a way that you're not even really all that um, all that sure that's happening. So, a good example, there's probably I think four MMOs that had a lifetime subscription. The idea here is that you're gonna spend about 200 bucks, and you'll never have to pay a subscription fee ever again. You buy the game outright, you know. And that comes to $260 plus another $60 for every expansion pack. So first one to do this was Lord of the Rings Online, which is now free to play. Uh, the the unlimited you know free play the the lifetime subscription cost 200 bucks with a subscription fee of originally 19.99 a month, which got dumped down to like $10 a month. And after about three years, the game went free to play. This is after three years and like four or five expansions. What happened to people who had, a, had the lifetime subscription? Well, it actually got dumped down to a couple months of premium service. And now the lifetime subscription's over. It got screwed over. Uh, same thing happened with Champions Online, which had a lifetime subscription, and then Almost a year later, convert to the to the uh, to the free to play model, and it also had a Star Trek on the which uh, took a lot longer to convert to the free to play model, but was just not a very good game anyway. So basically, like a lot of these you know lifetime subscription games are games that suck most of the time. And a good example is Gods and Heroes, which had lifetime subscription. And after like two months, he actually dropped the subscription fee altogether and just made it buy to play, no item shop. So, you, you know, don't get conned into lifetime subscriptions. Lifetime subscriptions are indicative of two things. One, first off, the game's not very good. And there's been not been a single good game to come out that has had a lifetime subscription now. Albeit, Lord of the Rings uh, was pretty good. It wasn't amazing though, it was just kind of an average game. On launch, it came missing a lot of features, so keep that in perspective. But usually they're pretty bad games. Like Gods and Heroes was, you know, launched before it was ready. Um, Champions Online, which is a huge pile of crap, it was just destined to get beat up by DC Universe Online. And uh, what's the other one I'm missing now? Oh yeah, Star Trek Online was a huge pile of crap, and all these games are not pretty. Good. That's just how bad they are. They're all free play games now. So, um, you know, consider who the company is as well. It's Funcom. Uh, Funcom have two other games. One's called Anarchy Online, which is getting a pretty big graphical update soon. And it's free to play. And the other one they have is Age of Conan, which I'm playing right now. It was a subscription game, and now it's free to play. So, you know, just think that through. Here is a, a company that has a proven strategy of making free to play, a game free to play into a very well the free to play market. And they're offering you a lifetime subscription of their game. That, that's just not very compelling. At all. Like, I, I hope that gamers don't get conned into this. I mean, usually games that have lifetime subscriptions also have like kind of unique elements that aren't on the market yet. And then those things kind of just end up sucking. So, case in point, who thought? Um, everything.
every single game that's been released to date with the lifetime subscription has converted over to free to play and no player has ever gotten their dollars value in it. Second, um, just because you pay $200 for a lifetime subscription doesn't mean you're getting refunded when it goes free to play. They're not required to. They might give you some premium service, but you might not even be interested in the game at that point. And the premium service will run out after a couple of months. And, you know, honestly, you're, you're not going to get a, a good experience there. So, three. Lifetime means lifetime of the game. And the lifetime of the game is defined by the company. So if they say, like, well, it's free to play now, and we've changed the game, so it's a different game, that is not legally binding, but they will convince you of it anyway and screw you to your money. You really gotta fight them for that if you get conned. Four, finally. The reason why they're offering lifetime is because they want, they need more money for development. That means they are going for broke. That means they can't finish their game. By giving them $200 for a lifetime subscription, they basically don't need to for finishing off the game. What that tells you is that the game is currently incomplete and will probably launch incomplete. So just consider those few things when you're looking at your pocketbook for the lifetime subscription. It's not a good deal at all. I anyway, hope that was uh, informative, and I hope you guys don't get con. See you guys next time.